Okay, just a quick video today. I have upgraded one of these fine vehicles with some bling stuff. Please come out there and show the goods. It's our FMS FJ Cruiser. What does it have? These fine wheels from SSD. And these wheels are not only cool, they're also functional as well. They're heavier, they're beadlocks, and they, they have an optional brass weight. So each one is pretty darn heavy. It's so cool. So, you know, these things have heavy bodies for sure. But now you could, you know, tune the, the performance with, by altering the center gravity. And the easiest way to do it is just by using heavier wheels. Uh, so very heavy. Uh, hopefully I'll show you some, um, some, some weights of it before and after. But uh, I have a bunch of running video and you'll see this thing perform before and after just this one simple mod. All right, yeah, thanks a ton. So here now. is a little demonstration yeah. <laughs> of the Set, SSD wheels with a brass ring weight. Just one mod before and after video. So we'll try to do the footage one after the other if it's the same section of rock so we're descending here we have a special guest the red vehicle called the rock hobby it's right here is the before. Notice the black. Whenever you see the black wheels, those are the plastic beadlocks. And right there, Still good. it just tilts. Very tough to get the front down. And here we have the aluminum oh SSD man. beadlocks. Same move. And first try, no problem. And here is the fire horse. Rock Hobby Fire Horse, we reviewed this vehicle as well. Plastic wheels, box stock. And has a bit of difficulty. So this could really use a front weight upgrade as well. Alright, different section of trail. Oh, this is the same section with the speed lock. We do it twice. Metal bead lock, you, you can see it's just it's just a lot easier. Fire horse, plastic, tough one. So here we go back to the before plastic wheel on a very tight section. We can't go to the right, so we go a little bit left, but that rock lifts it up. And when your front wheels are up, you can't do much really. So here, same section of trail, tight on the right. Right there, the front wheel is calm. It's on the ground, you can steer. Right there, you could hug, you could just do the millimeter clearance using the sliders. Need the power. The wheels are planted. I'm good. Right there again, the, the uh, this is the metal bead lock version. It's not a problem. So, goes to show one of the easiest upgrades. So here's a before segment again. Before with the plastic wheels. This is a kind of a ledge section, kind of hung up. Oh, had it. Had a tough time. Front wheel lifting, so you gotta, you gotta get some momentum, some some power. It makes it, but you know, not easy here. Same section here. little momentum as well and table a little so it has more traction as you can see but it's it's hung up just as much so but a little you could do it a little more slowly with with the metal bead box all right here again is the before with the plastic wheels 
hung up, it's hung up, and the front wheels are up. So here you pretty much, oh, the sliders too are, are in the way. So you can try as you, might, as you may, but it's not gonna do it. So here, metal bead locks. See, a little different angle. Front wheels are up. It's, it's planted, but you can see the front wheels are up because the, the middle is just, it's just hung up. So nothing doing, can't do it. Beat locks or not, it did not help. So here, what are we doing here? Some descending. Ooh, steep on there. So as you can see, Descending is not as big a difference, but it's definitely more planted because the center gravity is lower. And having that rear weight as well helps descending. That's that's where the rear weight really helps. It keeps that rear from flipping over forward. And finally, just some trailing here, some dirt, and the plastic bead locks. Roots. It does well, and to be honest, we didn't really see a difference because center gravity was not really tested in this particular section. It had enough, it had enough grip for all these sections. So it's really for the steep parts. So here's the metal bead locks. <laughs> Maybe for the steep parts where uh, it makes a difference. So there you go. Hope that helped out. Next upgrade might be put some damping on these shocks. Uh, we have some tricks. Some heavy, heavy diff fluid. Maybe flip the shocks over so it doesn't leak out. Uh, and uh, calm this baby down. Thanks a ton.